Welcome to Daily Armor. Today we're going to be in the book of Romans, chapter number 8 again, looking at verse 26 and 27. Romans 8, 26 and 27. And it says, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself maketh intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches the hearts knoweth what is the mind of the Spirit, because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Um, still kind of trying to wrap my head around some things, still having trouble with um, putting into words the, the things that the Lord is helping me with and showing me through Romans chapter 8. Lots of notes, lots of pages, lots of reading, um, but yet can't seem to um, put it all together. And I'm, as I am praying about it, and I realized that I was kind of doing that groaning about it, where I'm like, mm, Lord, I just don't know. Mm, I mean, that, that groaning that we do within ourselves when, you know, Lord, I don't even know, you know, what, what are the words? What, how do I take what you're doing um, and put it into words? And I just don't know. And so that those moanings and those groanings when we don't even know how to pray about a situation, exactly what to pray about a situation, um, I am um, asking the Holy Spirit to help me and to guide me and to direct me. And as I know you do as well, when we pray, and sometimes we don't even know what those words should be, and they come out in the form of a groan. Um, I, my granddaughters used to groan with me as I would get up. I was usually carrying one of them, and I would I would groan. I had injured my knee um, some time back, probably about a year and a half ago. I had injured my knee, coming off some steps a little bit wonky, and it, something just snapped. And it took a, about a year for it to heal. And it still gives me a little bit of trouble, but not near what it used to. And I would groan as I would get up, especially if I was carrying one of them, you know. And they started groaning. Um, and I'm like, what are you, what are you doing? When, and they were like, well, Titi, that's what you do. And, I'm, and we groan. You know, that's how we deal with the pain. Um, when you grunt and groan uh, when you're getting out of bed in the morning or you're trying to, you know, you know, get set or get up off the couch or something like that. Sometimes if it's, um, if there's something painful this morning, I'm having some lower back pain, um, in my lower right back. And so I got, when I got up out of the bed this morning is when I was realized that it, that it was, um, hurting me again. And I was like, I groaned as I got out of the bed. And so that's kind of how we deal with pain. Uh, but it's also how we deal with the things that we just don't, when we just don't know what to say, and we just groan within ourselves. And I was, I received so much comfort with this verse 26 and verse 27 because the Holy Spirit, and, and I know that Jesus makes intercession for me. But to realize that the Holy Spirit, sometimes we leave the Holy Spirit out. And this chapter number eight is, God, is mentions the Holy Spirit, like I don't know how many times, maybe 19 times. I, I read it earlier. It's a lot. Um, it's a lot. It mentions the Holy Spirit so many times. So this chapter is here teaching me about the Holy Spirit. And I'm, what I'm realizing is that I am praying and I'm asking, but I'm also waiting and I'm anticipating and I have to experience some things that is through the Holy Spirit. He is helping me with some things, with, with some issues. And as I am going through that process, I'm groaning through that because I don't quite know what to put it and how to put it into words. Um, so here in verse number 26, let me read it again. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities our infirmities those those are those things that are are that were weak in those are those things that are that are making us um, tired and weak and sick and, and and giving us pain and giving us trouble in our infirmities for we know not what we should pray for as we ought we just don't know how to pray about them some of these things we know 
um, the Holy Spirit is revealing this. Some of these things are for our help. It is good for us to suffer sometimes. It's healthier for us to go through some things sometimes because it's for our training. We, If you never have a need, then how do you know that God can supply all your needs? You have to have a problem before you know to even turn to the one that has all the answers to all these problems. And so it's healthy for us to go through things sometimes. It's part of our growth. It's part of our maturity. And as we go through them, we kind of groan through them. I do. I groan through them. Um, sometimes I ache and I moan and I groan and I'm like, oh, Lord, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I just don't know. And then we just give it to the Lord. We give it to the Holy Spirit. We have we have the Trinity is is communicating and interceding and knows exactly when and how to help us. Um, sometimes you might be just, I don't know what to say, and I don't know what to do, and then all of a sudden, a little bit later, you're like, oh, this is it. You know, this is, this is, this is the word I was trying to think of, or this is, this is what I need to do and when I need to do it, and it's the Holy Spirit that is taking care of that, that is, they're communicating the Holy Spirit with Jesus, Jesus with the Father, the Trinity working together on our behalf because why because i am a child of god i am joint heirs with christ i have the holy spirit the holy spirit is is an equal part of the trinity an equal part not a lesser part an equal part and i have him within me and as i'm realizing that this past i guess about a week now um, that, and I knew, I know that, I knew that, but, um, the Lord is just teaching me so much about the Holy Spirit. And as I am still waiting to experience more, um, as I have prayed to, for the Holy Spirit to do some, some particular things, now I am waiting. I have that hope. I have that anticipation. I have that joy. I am excited not just to know that God the Father is doing so much. Jesus is preparing a place for me, but the Holy Spirit is wanting to do some things for me now. And that's exciting. When he knows how to take my moanings and my groanings and he is interceding, he is taking that that I don't have words for and he's putting words with it and he's, he knows what to do. And I don't know what to, all, all what to do, but he knows what to do. And that's where my hope lies. There's a, um, here in Romans 8, let me see if I can find the scripture. Um, let me see if I can find it here. Um, it's, I'm not sure if I can find it. Um, for, look back up at verse number 24. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? So, if, you, if it's something you can attain, if it's something you can do, then there's no hope in that. You're just, I mean, that's something you can do. Um, I can, um, I don't know uh, what's something I can do. I can cook myself a meal. I don't have to worry. Um, I'm not hoping for a way to feed myself. I know how to cook. Um, that's kind of a dumb um, kind of way to put it, but I know how to do something. But now in like the piano that I'm trying to learn, and I can play a little bit, very, very elementary, but my hope is that I'm going to get better. My hope is that I'm going to do things down the road that I cannot do right now. I cannot do them right now. My hope is in what I haven't seen yet. It's not, it's in what I have not experienced yet. My hope is that, that the Holy Spirit is going to grow me and help me and train me and guide me. And it's going to, when I'm trying to do those exercises to do that hand independence, then I have to go really slow. You know, I'm doing some exercises that I found on YouTube and I'm going really slow and I still mess it up and I'm like, ah, you know, I get so aggravated. But my hope, my excitement is not in what I'm doing now. It's not in what's happening now. It's what's what I'm hoping, what I haven't even experienced yet for the future. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I can be excited today is because I've asked the Holy Spirit about some things 
and I'm waiting to experience those things. I'm waiting for that that I've not ever I've not ever seen it in that way. The preacher, the pastor preached last night um, or yesterday, and he mentioned it some more last night about you know never seeing it on this fashion. So they were glorifying God, and they were amazed. I am I am excited because I'm going to be amazed. I'm going to look back a year from now or five years from now, however long it takes. I'm I'm slow, so it may take a while. Um, I'm looking forward to some things, experiencing some things that the Holy Spirit is going to do in me and through me and it is interceding with the with Jesus and interceding with the Father and they're all working together and I might be going through some hard times right now. I might be experiencing some battles right now and I'm kind of moaning through that as I'm playing. I'm moaning through that as I'm making decisions and I'm moaning through that. I'm like, Lord, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I don't know how to put this into words. I don't know what to, I don't even know how to pray about it. He's given me so much comfort knowing that the Holy Spirit is taking those groanings and is interceding for me. And he's interceding for you when you ask him, asking the Holy Spirit who wants to do a work in us right now in spite of those things that we can't do, in spite of the flesh still failing me, the flesh, the flesh is still giving me a fit. There's just simply things I don't know how to do. And the Holy Spirit saying, but you need to ask me because I am your deliverer. And uh, and it's in things that I haven't seen yet. And I'm excited. I'm anticipating um, those things that I, I want to have control. That's my problem. I'm trying to have control. I'm trying to, to do it in the flesh. I'm trying to take control. And I'm just giving it up this week, giving up the control and waiting on the Holy Spirit. Um, look here what it says here. For we have... Um, Look at verse number 25. For if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. I am patiently waiting. I am excited. I am anticipating. I am just shouting the victory already. Victory in Jesus. Thank you so much. I am shouting the victory already in advance of things I have not even yet experienced. I am amazed at what God is getting ready to do. I am already amazed. I am already glorifying the Father at things that I have yet, I not ever have even seen it on this fashion, not ever have experienced it in this way. And I am already excited. I'm already glorifying God. And it's because, verse 26, Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities, for we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself it should be the spirit himself he is an equal he is not a it he is a him he maketh intercession for me with groanings which cannot be uttered he that searches the hearts knoweth what the mind of the spirit but because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of god not according to my will not what i want because I don't even know what the right words are. I don't even know what the what to ask for. But the will of God. That's what I'm asking for. Not my will be done, but thy will be done. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.